Okay, the iframe button. This is a very, very awesome button, but has to be used in exactly the right way. Let's drag the iframe button over our canvas. What this allows us to do is basically pull in an entire page, an entire external web page into Facebook. This bypasses the need to go and set up your own app and all of that kind of stuff. However, this is incredibly important, this part. With the iframe, if you are bringing in an external web page, it must have an SSL certificate, otherwise this will not work. Our canvas is completely, our templates are completely SSL covered. That means that if you create a page from scratch on a blank canvas or using one of our background templates, that is all completely SSL covered for you because it's all hosted on our server. However, all the iframe widget does is it allows you to pull in a web page from an external so source um, without having to go and set up apps, etc. Therefore, that external source itself must have its own SSL certificate. Okay, that's a secure socket layer certificate and that can be purchased from your hosting company. So uh, that's important. If you don't do that, then anybody that's on Facebook and they're browsing using secure mode will not see your page. It will throw up an error message. Um, but if you've got that and you're fine and you have an SSL certificate, all you do is you select add widget after you've put in the URL and boom, that's going to bring in the entire web page. Now do remember that Facebook is still only 810 pixels wide, so it is only going to be sized for that. But if you've got scrolling, then I could basically go and put my entire web page on there and then people could move around and actually see that whole web page all within Facebook. Uh, so that is how you use the iframe widget.